This go high level Instagram automation workflow that I'm using right now produces over 150 leads per week. And I guarantee you've never seen anything like this before. This is way more powerful than your average comment and send an auto DM automation. And I'm gonna walk you through how to set this up step by step. So even if you're a total beginner, you're gonna be able to install this in minutes. Now let's jump right in. Here's a quick demo of how it works. You'll probably notice I have all of these different automations set up within it GHL. All of these are basically a trigger for a different keyword. Now, before you jump off and say, I've seen this video before, no, you haven't. There's a back end to this that nobody else is doing that I'm gonna show you in just a second. And here is that simple back end that we'll jump into in just a second, as well as this slightly more advanced automation in N8M that I'm gonna be sharing with you if you wanna take this to the next level. But just to kick things off, it's important to note that this all does start with your comment automation. So you do need to be creating content in order for this to work. So let's look at one of these posts and see how it functions and how to do this yourself. Let's use one of my most recent posts. There was an ad we recently did. It's a lot of fun, fake trust fall. Now, I can either say it in the video, but most importantly, I want to get people to comment a specific keyword in order to trigger this automation. In this case, that keyword is leads. So yes, if you're using ManyChat already, they're probably charging you way too much money and you should cancel that and just use Go High Level from now on because it does the same thing, but on steroids. So the goal is to get people commenting this word leads, and this triggers the automation to leave a reply and also to send them an auto DM, just like many chat. But again, we're gonna take this one step further. And by the way, I'm doing this at a reasonable level. I've got some of these videos that get hundreds of comments and this word, it was clay and all these people are commenting clay. All of these people are now warm leads because they know who I am. They've already seen my content. They're engaging with that content, which means that they're probably interested in that thing and now we can go sell them stuff. But before this method, the only way to sell them stuff was in the Instagram DMs. But with this automation I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take it out of the Instagram DMs and into other channels. And if you get really good at this, like my friend Nick is, he gets thousands of comments on a lot of his videos. All people commenting, saying a keyword, and now he's messaging them and turning them into leads. Look at this, he's got 7,000 comments, 2,000, 5,000. So the possibilities here are just insane. People are making so much money doing this, so here's exactly how to set it up. First, you're gonna come into your GHL account. By the way, if you don't already have one, click the link down below. You can either get a 30-day extended trial or you can get a sub account for 49 bucks. So you're gonna come into your integrations and you're gonna wanna connect your Facebook and Instagram account. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that Instagram account is a business account and connected to the correct Facebook page. There's lots of videos talking about that. This video is a lot more tactical. Just make sure that Facebook Messenger is enabled and Instagram Messenger is enabled for the correct account. Now you'll be able to use that account in automations. So now we're gonna go ahead and create a workflow. I'm just gonna show you one of my existing workflows. For example, the keyword tools. Here's the structure of this workflow that you can copy. Now Go High Level has a built-in trigger for somebody comments on a post. So you're gonna start with this specific trigger, Instagram, comments on a post. You can name that trigger if you want. You wanna make sure the page is the specific Instagram page that you wanna automate. The post is published. And then what do they actually comment? You wanna give a list of the keywords that it's looking for. Now I like to give people the benefit of the doubt when I'm building any automations and account for any user error. For example, tools. They might say tool, they might say tools, they might use one O or two L's. So I add all those keywords and possibilities in there for Go High Level to look for. And I like to track first level comments only. That first level comment means only this first comment is tracked. If there's a big conversation or thread and other people are saying that keyword in the thread, it won't trigger. Now you might see another trigger here as well. That's if somebody sends me a DM with that keyword. So you may or may not wanna use that depending on the keyword. But if it's a really specific keyword, I actually like to have people DM me a keyword to get a thing. So try it now if you want. Go search me on Instagram, lead gen, and send me a DM or comment on one of my posts with the word tool or tools. And you'll actually get to see this entire workflow in action. So if you wanna set up the trigger from the DMs as well, you're also gonna add the trigger customer replied, and then just make sure to add those filters. So you're gonna wanna add reply channel is Instagram DM and contains phrase. And this is where you'll add tool, tools, and just hit enter to, to save them all. And then you'll go ahead and save that trigger. I'm not going to because we already have it set up. Okay, now from there, I don't wanna do it right away. I like to actually wait a minute because it seems a little bit more human. So we're gonna add a wait step one minute, and then we're actually going to send them that in the DMs. So send them the thing that you promised them if they commented the keyword. 
And there's different ways to approach this. There's the higher friction way that is exemplified here, where if you actually go to the link that I send you, it's actually a funnel, right? You have to opt in and give me your information. However, you also have the option just to give them the link to the thing. So in this case, you could just give them the link to the tool database or the resource that you want. That way you can build some goodwill and hope they take action on their own separately. That'll be up to you kind of which route you want to go. And I actually use both depending on what the lead magnet that I'm offering is. So after you send that Instagram DM, you want to actually wait another minute and you want to respond on the comment. So Go High Level actually lets you now filter through all of these different responses. So Go High Level added this somewhat recently where you can actually respond to their comment with a sent the link over, sent, check your DMs. And you can add a lot of different options that it will choose randomly to make it seem a little bit more human. And then you can also like the comment that they like. You definitely want to add this. That way it stacks up the comments on your post, which builds social proof and gets more people commenting and clicking. Once I send a resource, I like to make sure that they actually received it. So I'll typically wait a few minutes and then I'll send them another Instagram DM. Now this DM that you send them after eight minutes, I like to actually just check in on them and make sure that they got the link that I sent without any issues. Cause sometimes Instagram can be glitchy and a link doesn't deliver or open the right way. So I should like to say something like this, just checking in. Did you get that link that I sent over? I want to make sure that you're taken care of. This actually shows that you care. You're someone that they would want to do business with because you're actually invested in their results. I want to make Make sure that they get the thing that you said you were going to give them. Now, all this stuff is really cool, really easy to set up, but honestly, it's pretty standard stuff. And anytime that I want to create an additional automation for a new keyword, all I have to do is come into Go High Level and then duplicate that workflow. And I'll just do Instagram DM, say G G H L I G workflow. And then you can include the keyword, whatever you want, G H L I G. And then that way, when you're duplicating this, which you can do really quickly, this takes seconds. You can just come into that new workflow, just change the keywords, change the triggers, and then you can change the promise and the link. That way, anytime you launch new content, it takes literally two minutes to go in here and set up a new keyword automation. And the best part about using GHL for this, and it's not the unlimited contacts where as many chat charges you per contacts, it's that in GHL, you can actually have your appointment setter monitoring your conversations for new Instagram leads. So to do that, all you have to do is go to conversations, create a filter. You want to look for inbound Instagram. You can also add Facebook to that as well. And now you have a list of all of these Instagram leads that need to get followed up. Now, I actually have a setter doing this in a separate software that I pay a lot of money for. But if you don't, GHL works excellent to have a setter just monitoring those conversations and setting meetings, especially because you can create opportunities. You can use snippets. There's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do inside of GHL's conversations. All right, now how do we take this to the next level? You're gonna wanna set up this second automation. I call it DM pitch all Instagram comments. And this is gonna capture everybody who comments on any of my posts, no matter what they say. If they're commenting, it means they're interested. It means they know who I am. So why wouldn't I try and convert that person into a lead. And I think I invented this technique. So I guarantee that you've never seen this anywhere before. And there's a beginner's way to do this. And there's an advanced way to do this. And I'm going to be walking you through everything step by step. So here we go. You're going to set up this automation with this trigger. Someone comments on an Instagram post and I have all. This is going to be pages lead gen J. Post type is published post. It only tracks first level comments. So similar to the other automation triggers, except we're removing that additional filter. That additional filter is contains phrase. We're no longer using that, so it's gonna catch everything. Now this one, you wanna make sure that your settings are not to allow re-entry. If you have people coming through this all the time, then it's gonna trigger a ton of times, and that's gonna be a little bit annoying for you. And here we go, it looks like somebody else just came through the pipeline. Now when somebody comes in to your GHL account through Instagram, you don't have all of their information. Typically you only have, let's go into this contact and show you exactly what we have. To. We've got one thing, we've got their username. Thomas, not Jefferson. And if I plug that into Instagram, I can actually see this guy. Thomas, business advisor, he's got a public profile. Now there's a good chance there might be something here that I can use to find his contact, find his business information and then reach out to him. In this case, maybe not, but we'll see. So we're gonna wait one hour because we don't want this to interfere with our other automations. We wanna give that lead some time to, to nurture a little bit. And then I create an if step. So this if step is gonna look if they have this tag, DM pitch sent. And then if they do not have that tag, it's going to proceed with my automation. If they do have that tag, then the automation is over and it means that I've already tried this on them before. I don't wanna hit them with this all the time because that's when it becomes really annoying. And then they're gonna block me or restrict me anyways. You only wanna run this once per lead. And this is how you do it. You set it in the settings to not allow re-entry and you set this filter to not allow people through twice. So if it's their first time through this, like it is for Thomas, a couple things are going to happen. 
One, it's going to send this specific DM. You can change this a little bit, but feel free to copy my template. Thanks again for the comment. I was also curious what brought you here in the first place. I love to get to know my community a little bit better. Are you running a business or are you starting one? The reason this is so powerful is because it actually activates this lead to think that I'm conversing with him, I'm invested and I'm interested in him, and I'm giving him a really easy answer. Are you running a business or starting one? All he has to say is I'm running a business or I'm starting one now or I'm thinking about starting one. I'm not trying to pitch him. I'm not trying to sell him. I'm not trying to get his email address yet. All I'm trying to do is start that conversation in a meaningful way where now my appointment setter can take over and actually set an appointment with that lead. So it sends him this DM and then the beginner version of this without this webhook is just to tag them DM pitch sent. You sent the DM, pitch sent, now they can't come through this again. So you're not just sending this DM over and over again. So now you or your appointment setter is in your DMs trying to close people. You've got these automations set up and flowing. You're not paying many chat thousands of dollars. How do you take this to the next level? So this webhook actually leads into an N8N automation. You can do this in make.com as well. And here is the automation. By the way, if you wanna copy this exact blueprint and lots of other blueprints like it to really crank up your lead generation and client acquisition, they're all available as well as walkthroughs inside of my insiders community. If you're interested in joining that, it's linked down below. But let me walk you through this automation. It catches that webhook from Go High Level where we get the username of that person. Then it runs the Instagram scraper. Now I'm using Appify to scrape that Instagram profile and get as much information as possible about that person based on their Instagram profile. So it runs this Appify scraper. This is the one that I'm using here. It's only $2.30 per thousand results. So this thing is basically free to use. By the way, guys, if you're interested in Appify, there's a link to save a bunch of money on it down below. This video isn't sponsored by them or anything, but I use Appify for everything. It's awesome. So step one, run that Instagram scraper and then wait 30 seconds and get the info that it collected. So here's that info and what it looks like. This example date is actually from my account. We've got the URL that I have in my profile. We've got my full name, my biography, and usually this is enough to actually get good data on a lead that we can research and use to find their email address and find their phone number. Because unfortunately, most people do not have that in their public Instagram information, including me. It checks to see if it was found successfully. If not, it waits and checks again. I like to call this an Appify run loop. And if you're interested in learning more of that, Insiders program. So the next step is my research agent. So this is an AI agent built in N8N. You can do this in make.com as well. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the Bio. It's going to take their name. It's going to take their website and it's going to do research on them using this perplexity tool. And it's going to look for their business name. It's going to look for their job title. It's going to look for all the information about that lead. And then it's going to use what it finds to do a contact lookup in Apollo. Now, if this person is a business owner, then they'll likely be found in this Apollo search. And if not, we can use something like ICPs or find email. But in my experience, working with Apollo works great. If the research agent can't find anything, it'll say can't find. And if it finds them, It'll go as success and then back into GHL where I can run all kinds of fun automations on them with their email and with their phone number. And again, if you want to learn more about those automations that we're going to run with their successful contact info, that's going to be outside the scope of this video and you should join the Insiders program. Now, I'm going to be honest with you about this N8N automation. Most of the time, the people commenting on Instagram don't have enough information or aren't findable with their name and bio. So this fails about 90% of the time. But if you're getting enough comments, it's definitely worth getting that 10% because that 10% are real business owners who are commenting. So if I've got over 100 people commenting on this post to get this tool, there's a really good chance that a couple of these are real business owners. JP Logan, for example, he's got a real website. This guy will probably be found. And now I'm able to do cold outreach on him, send voicemail drops, enter him into a cold email sequence. And I would not have been able to do that otherwise without this Instagram lead finder automation. So it is ultra powerful and it's something that everybody should have set up because you can set it up once and then be done. Now, if you thought this video was helpful, make sure to watch the video on Instagram automation that I have for free on my channel so you can do automated DM outreach. It's ultra powerful and it's free. Just click the link right on this video. And if you haven't already, join my free school community where I teach lead generation a lot more in depth.